Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Gretzky, let's go. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. We like you. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation okay. under control now, mostly. Have you killed them all? How are these alarms no going off? No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Good. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Cool. I'll nerd stuff them. Why are there angry robots? Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. Fair enough, Darius. I can hardly hear myself think. Enter the war room and wake the base's mom. Lion, 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 lion. Lion, lion, <laughs> Face has been out of service for decades. We're the Arizona Rangers. We are government representatives. I don't want that crap. Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We're here for my tea. We're here to fix you. Let's do that. Slip on in. Holy hell, 110 years? Alright, well then I'll sneak up in here to this computer and try and hack it and steal everything. Flickers to life. First time in years. Security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identity. It replies, command empty, designate new command. Install myself as command. Camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Finally. Alright, we're up and running. Well done, Rangers. That's right. See the place up and running. Now give me your hammer. And those guys' body armors. Now, where were we? And that guy's outfit. Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the... Worst names, names for kids ever. Consequently, I banished him. Ha! Huh, nice move. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. What are those new plans? Ain't you smart. Haha, <laughs> I made the guess. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Aspen for victory. Valor's okay. Under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. Valor in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Okay, so if you guys remember, I have not played this game through. So Aspen, it's probably in order of difficulty. Victory in Aspen. Valor in Denver and Liberty in Eastern Plains. The way he's talking about Liberty, they sound like the best or the hardest one to beat. He already said, you know, even Liberty couldn't beat me. So they're the hardest one. So Eastern Plains is probably last. Denver is probably second. So we're going to start off in Aspen, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, why is it your fault? And I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Yeah, right. Major Tom takes responsibility. Do you think your kids are behind the attack? Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. It was the deluge. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Good. What else do you need? What do you want to know? Victory, Valor, Liberty. Let's go in order. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he tortured cats, terrorized the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Yeah, but he tortures cats, man. That's way worse. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. What? And that's the first you're handling it? Alright. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what. Remember? Yeah, we'll see about that. <sighs> Soft. Spoiled. Fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Oh, so they work together. Okay. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers. Hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. That's what you get. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Oh, okay. So maybe that has to go first. No, but the Gippers are tough. And oh, well never mind. Armed. We'll be going after we're leveled up. Death trap. Let's hear about the tough one. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. At least I raised one. You'd better. Anything else? Psh. Your hammer ain't that tough, homie. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out. All right. Alright, so now we have a base, a little place that we can hole up and get things going for ourselves. We have a bunch of missions around base we have to do, and we also have to design our other two characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that our first episode, and then when I come back we will have all four of our characters, and then when we come back we will have all four of our pre-made custom characters, and I'm guessing Marshall Kwan's going to join me again. So we'll see you guys then. Alright, welcome back. We are here. We have now created our entire team. We have the Professor, who is leveling up like a monster over and over and over. We've already talked about him. We have Reaper, 
We've already talked about his setup, going with explosives long-term, Professor's going with brawling and EXP long-term. We've now got Katana, which we're going with bladed weapons, and we're going with Animal Whisperer, Melee, Hard Ass, Weird Science, and Toaster Repair, and we're doing that primarily because we're going to do fire with this character. We're going to be hitting people with fire weapons, because if I remember correctly, fire weapons make it so that you can't, or you don't have to worry about penetration, which is a bladed weapon problem sometimes. And then we have Dr. Disrespect. We have him in automatic weapons and first aid, and later on he's going to be kiss ass, but right now we have... Marshall Kwan, so he's going to cover that for us with his built-in kiss ass. He has kiss ass sneaky shit built in, but we'll just use him in the meantime until we get Jody Bell and all that set up. All right, we're gonna lead the way, walking around. We're gonna explore our own little base here. Oh, there's Jody Bell. Let's go talk to Jody Bell. See what she thinks. I need to rest a spell, catch my breath. That all right with you? Sure. Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Okay. Oh man, more every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. All right, so you are very pro Arizona. Later. I remember some things about this base. I just don't remember exactly what I remember about this base. I remember there's a fight up in here, but I don't remember what it is. Lizards or something like that. Let's go handle this over here first. Please, don't shoot. Who? Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Farmers. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Fat chance. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. You not set off security system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. We're not welcome there. Can you live in the city? They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. I mean, sure, you can stay for now as long as you make yourself useful. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge. Okay, the Not refugees bad. like us now. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. Yeah, for now. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Sure, don't fuck it up. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere... You send him back to us? Hear that, sure. Everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful All right. around here. Let's look for Andy. Oh, container. Lockpick. Let's go. Come on, Professor. Get in there. Soldier's note. I love that these autoplay. Toaster repair level three. Right. Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire. Standing orders. There's to be shot on sight. They didn't look like much to me from 80 meters. And when we got close enough to inspect the bodies, Bring master key. Forgive me. I can't do this anymore. 
Wow, okay. Body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and uses dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. What'd he die from? Painful death by electrocution. Oh boy. Heart failure by electricity, but there's lack of burns, which makes that inconclusive. Dried foamy spittle, barely detectable at the edge of the mouth, make poison a much more likely culprit. Half eaten sweet smelling mushroom. Credentials accepted. Login admin, password admin. Nice. Backup generators initiated. Automatic security lockdown. Login required. Credentials rejected. All right, let's talk to this idiot. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? <laughs> All right, Jerry Garcia. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that one. A long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh, headquarters for what? That's cool. We're here to help Colorado. Good. Not really, but we're trying to get help for Arizona from Colorado. Uh, are there like more of you here? Yeah, but new recruits and more joining soon. Oh, hey, man. That's good. That's, that's good, man. More uh, people hanging out. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So hey, uh, what, uh, what? <laughs> this guy's baked out of his mind. Got a couple questions. Oh yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. How long have you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts, or... Ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Yeah, what happened with the dead guy? I mean, uh, that's uh, some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out. and Starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down, and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. We examine the corpse, and it doesn't appear to have been killed by electrocution. It looks like poison. That's, uh, that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him. Man, what a, what a wacky world. Logs on the terminal show there was a power surge, like you said, but also several attempts to access the computer afterwards. While wow, those, uh, those alarms were going off? How'd that happen? Yeah, we'll ask again. Who was trying to access the computer after the power surge? Um, well, that guy, uh... He fell over under the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed. Oh, on this guy's the, lying to us. On the buttons, or on the thing with all the little buttons, or oh, oh shit, man! Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's um. Some scary stuff, man. Yikes. <laughs> Why are you in there? Because uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Why were you oh, put in there? Didn't you like my <clears throat> joke? I did. Okay, okay. Well, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend, though, too, man. Former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he uh, he conked me on the head. <laughs> when I woke up, um, I I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like seriously. All right, I don't trust you. You're lying to us. I don't care how you survived. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. And I got a lucky roll. Okay, did we level up again? Are you serious? Go, Professor. All right, so we leveled up again. 
We're now level 5. Everyone else is level 4 with a small amount of EXP. As soon as he gets 3 or 4 levels above, we'll start raising everybody else up to match it. But we've got everybody set up pretty good. We killed him. I wish I hadn't grabbed the key. We could have gotten lockpicking EXP on this stuff. But now we can loot this guy. Savory smelling mushrooms. Removes poisoned, removes bleeding, removes drugs, and healing. Okay, half a mushroom. Could be harmless, could be toxic. Damage. Oh, fun. More mushrooms? Yep. there are dogs outside. All right, we got some animal whispers over here. Maybe we'll load up on animals. That guy was a liar and he seemed like a killer, so we don't care about him. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your truck. Razor back. Museum or something. Okay. Or a handball court. What, they, what do they do? Spiked melee attackers take damage on hit. Ooh, ow. That's not good. Maybe we don't want to lead the way with our melee troops. There we go. Start the fight off right. Alright, so who are we playing with here? Reaper. There we go. Get some more shots off here. We missed quite a bit there, but that's fine. We do not want to attack Professor or Katana first because they take damage. Dr. Disrespect's got to handle business here. Alright, we can fire twice if we don't crouch. Marshal Quan can also fire. If we move, does our percent to hit change? No. Alright, so we like it from here. That was terrible. Let's go up here like this with the professor. Put him on ambush. With Katana. I'm gonna assume he has to go around there or around here. Put her here. And put her on ambush. Ow. Execute the ambush. Let's go. Get knocked out, son. There we go. That hurt her a little bit. Oh wow, she's almost toast. All right, let's start with the the gunman, Doctor Disrespect, Marshal Quan. Wow, he just full blown missed every shot. There we go. Everybody can reload. Doctor Disrespect can go drop a medic pack on Katana. That should heal over time, so that she'll be getting poisoned, but she'll also heal over time. So. I'm going to assume that's going to be enough to keep her alive. Whoa. Radical Rachel. Creepy doll. Explosive damage bonus. Okay. Exploder likes that. Now that's not an item, right? That's a... I don't know where we see those. Oh. Still getting poisoned? How much longer? 15 seconds remaining. Ah, that's fine. You won't be dead. And if you are dead, we'll have you take a mushroom. Which will smell and taste great. I feel like until we get our combat skills built up. It's going to be somewhat inevitable for us to take some damage. What's going on here? Plenty of ammo. We like that. Okay. Let's not get ourselves stuck in any walls. Thank you. Ooh, rocket. Okay. Go check out this computer. How did he fit through there? A little odd. Rusted in place. Crunches. Sad beep. Raid failure. Personnel logs. The world ended yesterday. Our missile system... Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone. We can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Uh oh, discipline will keep my man in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. Need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Cover some more log. Reverse engineer the key. Yeah, that's I did that. Fix his gaze on the monitor, tapping the keys, covering his tracks. Then in a more kept ceiling, glanced back at him and raptured by his steely blue eyes. She watched the doorway from the guards. Have you found the evidence yet, Captain? How is this a story? Let me just quickly back to the vent. Ladies first, despite her generous curves. Yep, this is a book or something. Her more wasn't properly scrambled. Flag the data is not deleted. Log appears on your list. Another suicide today. We're too visible. Peterson is defensible, but the siege is exhausting physically and mentally. Too many buckling under the strain. We need a better solution before there are none of us left. Planning an evacuation of the secondary complex. Sooner we abandon this hellhole, the better. Okay, let's see if we can recover more. They thought they were really smart. They should have just used a standard one. Die, Halcomb, die. He fired his laser pistol, but it was too quick. Oh, this is part of the book again. I'll upload info mine to the internet. No one will be able to oppose me oh my gosh check this weapons clip one bullet left his weapons magazine one bullet left he's smart that's all he'd need oh geez may need a computer expert to access some of the files fortunately we have one classified information purge initiated erasure complete command cleared the fass activating intruder detected intruder detected okay intruder detected quadrupedal creature identifies non-hostile creature remains creature departs five more people come in okay Monitoring, bipedal creature fortress facility, 
sets out servitors, intruder pacified, <laughs> intruder, so it's those stupid robots. Intruder 32 returns to war room, starts fire for intruders 30, 31, 33. Intruder 34 is providing them with a meal. Abduction of core servitors by intruder 11, priority elevated. Wake up the other servitors. Declassified, or classified as deceased, okay. System wake up, need more information. Check out the war room, monitoring systems, access to monitoring systems. Self-diagnostic complete, unresponsive, secondary power 20%. This last one, true logged, returns to barracks, perturbed and barricade door to barracks. Retreat after accessing war room and armory. Generator restart power coming online, waking a red alert. Try to recover security logs, easily repaired. Good people of Arizona, we, the remaining officers of the 249th Engineering Battalion have been able to unable to contact our leaders at Forcecom for too long and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that our government has fallen. Every one of us here joined the army to protect the people of the United States, and even if the U.S. is no more, we intend to continue to protect you to the best of our ability. We heard your cries for help on the radio, and we want you to know help is coming. Keep calling shelter in place and stay strong. We're on our way. How'd that work out? This message will repeat. Yeah, sure it will. Cover more. Anti-ballistic countermeasures armed. Alert status raised to red. NORAD tracking. Oh, this must have been when they bombed Denver. Countermeasures in the local area 95%. Raised communications with White House. Estimates the success rate of countermeasures outside of local area at 5%. That's not good. Cover more. Primary generator failure. Automated amendment. Catastrophic. Sleeping but vigilant. All right, so we just learned a whole bunch of nothing. Seemed useful at first, but then afterwards it was just kind of falling apart. We need to go in that base room. And we need to remember we have a toaster here for level three. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh wabby yip beep. Armor, armor, and scrap pants. Okay, I have a feeling there might be more in these containers, so we're not gonna equip it just yet. Ooh. Rocket launcher, shotgun shells, underbarrel light. Okay. Lock picking success. Let's go, Professor. Lee. Nice job, buddy. Container. Money and teeth. Okay. Container. Pick lock. Let's go. What's that? Empty case of Aquanet. Okay. Radio static. All right. Let's try the computer out one more time, see if there's anything else here. We got some nerdiness going on. Wipe the requests, old security logs. I guess that's it. All right, are they fixed now? All right, well, good for you guys. Go ahead and defend it to your last battery or whatever. All right, let's go here. Okay, that's a big robot. Let's save that. This cleaned out, you truck. Can put your truck Pick lock. In. Let's go. Pick locks. We like that. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing. How'd she die? Seizure, heart failure, spanner gripped in her hand, metals discovered. Okay. Textbook case of electrocution. She got electrocuted somehow. Uh, let's save the game and then try talking to this guy. Bad shape. Examine the robot. Slicer, dicer. Port holes patched. Repair the robot. Leave the robot alone for now. Let's go mess with this computer see what we can do over here. Dr. Disrespect with his mullet over here. Most recent logs. We fixed the servitor drones though, so now he's gonna go fix it, right? This is supposed to be the elevator, I'm guessing. Alright, let's go in this room. Let's keep it orderly. What a stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a more. Mm. Gonna take it. Oh shit. Okay, hypos. Deal. What's this? Bloated and put. Putrefied, one of her arms entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from her swollen torso. Search for cause of death. Missing arm had nothing to do with the woman's demise and had been expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. Okay, medical. Chained up for a while, so slave. Pile of corpses. Search for causes of death. Most of them violent bullet holes. Crushed skull, cut throat on a third. Same scarring, so slaves again. All right, so slavers were here. Search for cause of death. Exposure to stream cold, but it wasn't a cold. Open wounds on his back. He was whipped to death. Yep, frequently moved. Maybe the corpse over here. Oh, what? Slaver's note. Same with the blood of its previous owner. Rush order from ST, drop what you're doing in round up six, late 10, early 20, preferably F. Okay, they're talking about get six females in early 20s or late teens. Good health. Ugh. Washing refugees in Colorado Springs, hunting there. Marshals won't care. Take them straight to the track. ST will pick the best four. Who's ST? I should have a buyer for them by the end of the day, LP. I did not realize we had to manually read these, but let's put some armor on our people. You've got some armor, armor plus three. There's a plus four right there that's even better. There we go. 
your melee. You should be wearing something. Scrap pants. Okay. Once we have a higher first aid, we need to come back here and check that out. Pick lock, failure, impossible. Vault is enormous, recessed. You know, we'll be open with a numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Okay, so we gotta find a code. I think I remember somebody gives us a code to that, but I don't, like I said, I barely played this game in the past. Trap detected. Okay, good to know. Disarm. Let's go. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good, good job. spot for your armor. More traps detected. Okay, what's over here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Let's work the computer. Pick lock. Disarm explosive failure? Explosives four? Okay, here's the beauty of explosives. If I can't disarm it... Alright, everybody reload. And then let's ignore the fact that that thing tried to light us on fire. Molotov. I don't find that as hilarious as I think they intended it to be. Rusted slicer dicer. Alright, we'll, we'll break you later when I feel like I can handle something that strong. I don't know how strong a right slicer dicer is. Active. Greetings. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Okay, that's annoying. Greetings, okay? Jeez. Okay, buried item. Go get it. It come out tasting like tetanus? Nice. That rabbit is freaking out. Good lord. Tons of ammo in a little car. Snow pile. Gather snowballs. Alright, let's check out what those do versus the yellow snowballs. A little colder applies frozen? What does this apply? 10% for stink, 10% Rocky Mountain Oyster, Freezer Burn, all of those horribly poisonous things. How many snowballs can we collect? Maybe we can use these for something useful. Maybe freeze like hold people in place. Plenty of snowballs. Let's go this way. Hi, dog. You running from me? Come back, I'm friendly. You're a dog. I like you. Cyborg chicken. Buried item. Buried item. Okay. What's that? Dog shit. Alright. Okay. Oh. Reaper. Let's talk to Cyborg Chicken, see if he can be our friend. Looks at you a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Cluck? Alright, he doesn't like us. That's weird, but alright, we're not complaining. Now we got Major Tom with us. Let's go. Downtown Colorado Springs. Alright guys, we're in downtown Colorado Springs. We're ready to roll. We've got Major Tom with us. So we're gonna save it here, and then we'll be back next episode. See you guys then.